Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be showing you how to add a loop effect to your video, also sometimes known as repeat effect or stutter effect. I am using VideoPad version 7.5.1 but the general concepts I'm going to be demonstrating can be applied to both older and newer versions. I have loaded my video clip into my timeline and we are going to be using our red timeline cursor to mark off two cut points, the beginning and end cut points of the little section that we want to loop. And if you make a mistake, I want to remind you, do not panic. The blue undo and redo arrows are located in the upper left-hand corner of your main toolbar. Once you've determined where you want to place your first cut mark, you position your red timeline cursor, hold your mouse over the red timeline cursor, click one time if it doesn't automatically come up. But these three options do not automatically come up you just click one time and you choose split all tracks do not use the brackets you now move your red timeline cursor to where you want your loop to end and once again we choose split all tracks now this is very very important do not touch the red timeline cursor at this point because this is where we are going to be inserting our copies click one time on this little segment that we have just designated and you can see that it turns a light gray. Right click and from the context menu, choose copy. Repeat, click one time with your right mouse and this time you are going to choose paste insert. Do it again, click one time with your right mouse from the context menu, choose paste insert. Now we're going to take a look and see what it looks like. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. This time we're going to be using the visual cues provided by our audio track. And I am going to repeat this little section right here. Once again, hover my red timeline cursor. Click one time. Moved a little bit, so I'm going to move it back. Okay, there we go. Now we can choose split all tracks and we're going to move our timeline cursor once again just to the end of that section where I speak. And once again, we're going to choose split all tracks. I'm going to zoom in a little bit easier to make it easy for us to copy and paste. Remember, you do not want to touch the red timeline cursor at this point. I'm going to click one time and it is now activated. I am going to right click and from the context menu, I am going to choose copy. Right click again, and from the context menu, I'm going to choose paste. Right click, context menu, paste. Now let's listen and see what it's like. Yeah, got it. Isn't it a beauty, beauty, beauty? And there you have it. It's that e e e easy. Like and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other video pad tutorials from the tech playlist in the description below.